Here's how I can make this wavy glass effect here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this artboard size. Now let's go and select the gradient. And here we can change it to this right here. And I gotta go at the top of the artboard, drag it, press and hold shift. So it's gonna isolate. Now we get the gradient. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both layers, right click, merge layers. Let's unlock the layer. And now press control T and let's make it narrow. I'm gonna go all the way up here, make it really thin, zoom in, press and hold alt, drag it. Also press shift to isolate, make it intersect. Press and hold alt again, do it again and again. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, select all the layers, press and hold alt and copy it again, 47 pixels. And now I'm gonna select all and do the same process until you're gonna fill up the full page. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, scroll down, select all the layers, press control T and I just gonna bring it in double click release, right click on the layers, and let's go down and click on convert to smart object. From here, we're going to go to the filter, distort and select wave. And these are going to be the settings and make sure to decrease the number of generation to one. And here we got the wavelength, you can increase it or decrease it, but I'm going to decrease it to make it nice and dense. Click OK. I'm going to press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up a little bit more, stretch it, double click release. So it's going to look something like this. And from here, we're going to go to the file, save as, and make sure to save it as a Photoshop file PSD, rename it as test, and click on save. Import the image that you want to transform. Let's go to the layer, a right click, click on convert to smart object. And now we're going to go to the filter, filter gallery, and here I'm gonna go to the distort and select glass. So here we're gonna need to change up the glass texture. So we're gonna go here to this little hamburger right here. It's really small. Click on it and click on load texture. And now I'm gonna select the PSD file with the test. Click on open and check this out. Now here you got the distortion. This is basically gonna make it from all the way to visible to all the way down to invisible. And then here we got the smoothness. If you decrease it, it's gonna make it sharp. I gonna increase the distortion. And then not but least, you got the skill. You can make it narrow or you can make it huge. And that's how you make this refraction glass effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.